All the way my Savior leads me Cheers each winding path I tread Good morning, everybody. Chester ARP Church Devotional Podcast. Thanks for being with us. First Kings chapter 8. We read the Bible. We discuss it. We're in First Kings chapter 8. Solomon sacrifices on the day of the dedication of the temple, the new temple, the temple that he had built. King Solomon offers sacrifices to the Lord, beginning in verse 62 through the end of the chapter. Then the king and all of Israel with him offered sacrifice before the Lord. Solomon offered as a peace offering to the Lord 22,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep. So the king and all the people of Israel dedicated the house of the Lord. The same day the king consecrated middle of the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord. For there he offered burnt offering and the grain offering and the fat pieces of the peace offerings, because the bronze altar that was before the Lord was too small to receive the burnt offering and the grain offering and the fat pieces of the peace offering. So Solomon held the feast at that time, and all Israel with him, a great assembly, from Lebo Hamath to the brook of Egypt, before the Lord our God, seven days. And on the eighth day he sent the people away, and they blessed the king, and went to their homes, joyful and glad of heart, for all the goodness that the Lord had shown to David his servant, and to Israel his people. After the temple which had been built by King Solomon was dedicated to the Lord through prayer and worship, Solomon offered sacrifices, and the sheer number of sacrifice tells us of the significance of this moment. King Solomon, when all Israel together offered sacrifice before the Lord, they offered 22,000 oxen, huge cow-like beast, and 120,000 sheep. So we're looking at, in that moment, 142,000 oxen and sheep combined, animals that were sacrificed to the Lord. The king and all the people of Israel dedicated the house of the Lord. And on the same day, they consecrated the middle of the court, which was uh, before the Lord. For there the burnt offerings, the grain offerings, the fat pieces of the peace offerings were burned. And the reason they offered them in the middle of the court rather than on the altar was the altar was too small to uh, accept or to be used for all of the peace offerings and all of the uh, fat pieces of the peace offerings, the burnt offerings and the grain offerings. There was just too many sacrifices and they had to extend the places where they would offer the sacrifices. An unbelievable moment. And all of Israel has gathered together to celebrate to the Lord. They're sacrificing peace offerings. The peace offerings was an offering that referred to the peace, the reconciliation between God and His people, and the peace that these people enjoyed as those who are the people of God, who are living in His presence with, His, with the Lord's glory and with His blessing on their lives. And so they offered up these peace offerings because they were living in a time of peace. They were living in a time of reconciliation. God had chosen to come before them and establish Himself before them. And so they were offering an abundance of offerings in response to their great appreciation and love for the Lord. Solomon held a feast also at that time for seven days, and all of Israel participated. And they ate in the feast for seven days. The eighth day, he sends them home, and they're joyful and they're glad for the goodness of the Lord had shown to David, his servant, and to all Israel. Uh, there's a, a sense at moment, uh, the moment of worship, the moment of, of, of dedication to the Lord, a, a tremendous sense of gratitude. The feast was a celebration, a remembering of the great grace and goodness that God had given to His people. Bringing them out of Egypt, in, establishing them in the promised land, being with them through the period of the tabernacle, ultimately to the building of the temple and now coming and dwelling with them on this earth. And so they're grateful, they're thankful for God and His goodness and making provision for them to be able to enjoy the feast that was before them. These people didn't eat animal meat regularly the way that they did at this, during this feast. This was a special occasion. And King Solomon was the one who led the charge, led the feast for seven days. They dedicated themselves to the Lord. And when they were done, they returned to their home, joyful, glad in their heart, for the goodness that God had shown to David, to his son Solomon, and to all the people through the Davidic kingdom. Uh, we think about the opportunity we have to celebrate every day, the goodness and glory and grace of our God, which he has given to us and shown to us in the great descendant of David, the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and to all his people who are in Christ, we give him praises. So there's tremendous opportunity here for us to remember we've been at, we're at peace with God, the, the reconciliation that comes to us through Jesus. We also have the wonderful opportunity to enjoy the feast of the glory of God as we feast on Christ as our great, um, the great bread of, uh, of life. And Lord, we, we, we come to thank the Lord for His provision, for His goodness to us in our lives. You good guys do that today. Thank Him, for He is good indeed. Take care. See you soon. Your goodness and mercy will follow.